Hi everyone, this is just a quick session how to configure Azure Active Directory with single sign-on on Halo PSA. So first, just going to show you logging in into Halo PSA as it is, normal username and password. And then we're going to go to configuration, integrations. We enable the Active Directory, Azure Active Directory uh, plugin. And then we're going to click on it. Uh, we're going to change this here already to multi-tenant. So later on, we can allow our customers as well to use a single sign-on. Um, okay, now let's go to Azure AD. We're going to go to again Azure, Azure Active Directory, App Registrations new registration let's call this app halo psa sa sso and then again going to enable multi-tenant so later on we can allow our customers to use single sign-on as well register Okay, now let's go to the authentication tab and then add platform, web, and uh, let's add the URI from here from Halo PSA. We're going to go back and add this one here. This is on a trial tenant, so depending on if you're using trial or production, the beginning of the URL will change a bit to your customer name. So I'm going to add this one, tick the two boxes, click configure. Now back here, we also need to add another URL. So I'm going to click on plus and then the URL finishes with forward slash Azure and forward, oops. So the URL finishes with Azure forward slash auth. Okay, I'm going to add already a couple of other URLs here in case you move this into production later. You can already have this with your customer name in place. So it's one less thing to break once you move to production. And we're going to save. Now let's go to API permissions and then let's remove this user read permission as is not needed. You're going to click on add permission, Microsoft graph API delegated permissions. And then we're going to search for four different permissions we need to add. So first one, uh, it's, um, user dot read all. And then group read the all and then oops to add a few more and then open id and then uh, offline access so now we have four of those permissions we need to grant admin consent on behalf of your tenant now let's go back to here and then the application ID, we're going to copy this here and then the directory ID, we're going to copy and put it here. And now we can uh, publish and that's it. So now in theory, we should be able to log off and then Let's see. Yes, we have the button to log in using Azure AD. Let's click and see what happens. Yes, it has worked. Just as a last note, later on, you may want to add your customers' tenant IDs here. So you just go to the Azure AD, copy their ID, put it here. They, if, they, and if they have a, an account 
created on your system, it will use single sign-on. Or you can use the Microsoft CSP integration as well to synchronize all your customers over. But that's part of another video. Thank you very much. Cheers.